Okay, so this unit is on strings, which is admittedly not our most important unit. I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, talking about strings. The strings do have some commonality with lists, which is our next unit, which is important. So um, I think um, I'll just do a few videos on strings, kind of with an eye on lists in our future, in our near future, and um, try to highlight some of those commonalities. So here I have a, um, a string called, which I put in a variable called school, and I put our school name into the, that, that string variable. And I want to, I mean, this is just a quick little video on um, slicing. We did talk about this early on, uh, back in Chapter 3. And um, again, this is the kind of thing you can do with lists, too. So it's worth reviewing this technique, and it's an easy technique. But just want to recap that the way a string is stored in memory is sequentially. In fact, a, a string is a sequence type, okay? And what we mean by that is, you know, I didn't put the whole string here, but if you can imagine this in memory that, you know, first is the M, then the O, and so on, and these are indexed behind the scenes. Each character in this string is indexed. It's a zero-based indexing system, okay? So if I want to slice out the word moraine, for example, I want to slice out Moraine. I'm going to start my slice at position zero. And then this is, I don't know if you remember this annoying little thing, annoying to me at least, about Python is that if you want to slice out Moraine, okay, I'm go, I'm starting at zero, I'm going to six, but you have to go one more in Python. So I really have to slice from zero to seven. I don't want that space, and I'm not going to get the space, but you always just kind of have to go one beyond where you want, want to stop your cut. So let's do it. I'll just throw that result right into the print function. So we don't, we don't even have to put that in a variable or anything. So I'm starting the slice at zero in the beginning, stopping the slice at seven, and there's Moraine. Okay. If I want it at lowercase, I can slap a lower method on there. And there you have it. So let's just do one more just for practice. We'll slice out rain. Okay. So I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, okay, zero, one, two, I'm going to start my cut at two, and then um, three, four, five, and of course I have to go one more, so I'll stop my slice at six. So I'm starting at two, stopping at six. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, I forgot to close the uh, parentheses. And there's the word rain. So just slicing out. And you can, like I said, you can do with these uh, slices with lists as well. And then we'll see that in a later chapter. 